Hey everybody, I've got that trailer. If you look in my previous videos, that was tore down. And it is sitting in my shop. This one is being used as a reconfiguration of a really nice camper that we got. And I'm gonna show you that here right quick. And there's a center point of how it mounts. Back here in the back is the end point of where it stops and this will be a 42 inch um, deck on the back of it with rail all the way around and a step on that side and a step on this side so what you're looking at is an old 1968 automate frame and we're tearing all this wood off to get down to the metal frame and putting in additional supports three-quarter plywood uh, that is uh, heavily doped for water resistance um, and then the rest of this trailer here is going to have a small area up front for putting a couple of bicycles. But let's show you what we're doing with this. Okay, so what it is, is sitting right out here. This is a 1971 Security Traveler. And it has practically, that's the water heater on it, guys, never been used. It is immaculate. Um, even if you look up in here in the refrigerator, Look in this thing. Everything in it is 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 like that. It's had uh, propane in it a few times, and it works. So, what we're looking at here is we're looking at a trailer, or a RV. Sorry, we're looking at an RV that is going to have the front end extended all the way down to a bed of that trailer you've seen in the shop and all of it filled in because I have an identical one to this that's a 73 that a guy dropped off and when he dropped it off it has water damage everywhere but all the metals in great shape same color same same everything um, in fact it's a little bit bigger I think it's a foot longer up top the 73 model is but this one is a full size with bathroom and everything in it and but we're going to come off of this right straight here and bring it down like you would a regular camper down to the floor and enclose everything put in tanks under here and batteries over there and put a queen size bed down here and just leave a cutout notch for two twins up there in the top so the top will have a pair of twins and it'll be just a four and a half foot tall opening that you go down in here for the queen size at the bottom you'll have your bicycles or whatever you want to put up front your generator on the tongue of that trailer in there and the uh uh, back of it will be like what you see in an old train, you know, where the old politicians hung out on the back porch of a train will be all out to about right in here going across and continue with the roof line out. So we're going to do that and put the nice little iron webbing on it. It's going to look really cool. Um, won't be no jacks on it. If you want to see how perfect this is, I mean, you can look around here and you can just see all the screws and stuff on it. They're just rust free. They're just a regular old color. Um, everything is just completely clean. Nothing's been used on this trailer for anything. The only place where you have this is just a little bit of rust here, but look how clean that is. That has not been used at all. I took the covers off of these lights. This is the original light fixtures. This spent its whole life inside a building. And the I was gonna to try to wire it up to make the tail lights work so I could haul it, but instead I had to put on a pair of temporaries. Um, now, coming in here, Take a look at that heater. Really nice old style can heater. Has the big can cylinder in it, the heat exchanger. And um, let's come in here and we will uh, close the door there. And you'll be able to see here how all of this is original stuff. Now, the front of the trailer got to see some sunshine, so you'll see here how the curtains are just a little tattered from the sun. My wife liked to me make some of those, she said. But it is all original. Not an ounce of water damage anywhere. This thing is just perfect. It's got some dry rot where this end was uh, not out in the weather, but about three feet back, so it had sun come across every day for 50 years or whatever, 40 something years. And the interior of this is just perfect. I mean, perfect. It even has the original Coleman LaSalle light switch, which I don't have a battery on the system, but it's, it works like this. 
on and off. <laughs> kind of cool. Um, everything's perfect. Big fire extinguisher. Um, all the original paperwork with it. Everything that came with it. It's all in it. The whole thing here. Um, this was uh, bought originally to go on some property. Never made it. But look at the interior of this thing. I mean, it is just beautiful. Complete, completely nice. And the uh, cushions are just immaculate. The mattress in there is the same thing, immaculate. Uh, shocking. What good a condition. Look at this stove. This is in 1971. And look at the condition of that. I don't even think they actually ever used it. People stayed in this thing from time to time at the guy's property. But the sink is, is perfect. Um, there's We have no evidence that water was ever used in the pipes on this thing. So down there is the tanks all reset breakers and stuff for 12 volt and um we have uh you know the only knowledge we have is that it was used for mainly people who came over to stay in it it didn't actually get used here's here's a fascinating thing to kind of prove that point um here's the refrigerator so it's an old dometic and very good looking dometic and it is just perfect I mean it is perfect it's shocking the condition this thing is in um, for it being what 47 years old so I mean if you think about it it's 47 years old this is really crazy how good a condition it's in and I have I took the rack out right here because I was trying to feel the temperature back there on that so not too bad now the reason that we're going to take this and do that is because we're going to have this part here cut all the way like that the tank is going to come out and go underneath over here on this side and the metal from the other identical RV is this one identical camper is this one is going to be used to close it all in completely like it was originally or like it was built that way um, very hard to find so we have it all and the doorway will go through there straight into a queen bed area that actually has the queen bed will be recessed 15 to 18 inches back from the opening so you have a little room on both sides and then a queen size bed up on a platform under the platform a little bit of storage but you'll have plenty of room because this trailer here this rv is going to be raised up another four inches and it's really going to work out great you'll almost be just almost have headroom in there for a person that's you know in the five foot tall range so up here we're going to do this one up to where we're going to leave this in and then put it to where it just has two twin areas on both sides of it and since the other one has the same identical mattress identical curtains identical everything and they're in good shape um we're going to run a small half set on both sides of here using the same rails and stuff so it is to me the reason we're building this is that we will be able to haul this thing out to the mines where we go out and do gold panning and it's ultra light it'll be ultra light carry everything we need on it and you'll be able to sleep in it have cooking have have water have refrigeration have heat and i'm going to put 500 watts of solar on it and even have an air conditioner for the worst times so oh and oh, hold on here and it does have a full bathroom so it's a little messy i poured a cleaning solution down in it and yeah, close I should be trying to block the drain there because it smells. Um, there wasn't anything in the septic. The septic's 100% clean. But it had apparently um, somebody had either allowed it to stay open and something crawled in there. We don't know, but it's clean. You can't you can't see nothing in there. But uh, even has the uh, the original curtain. And look at that. Totally supple. Complete. Nice. Everything in here works really well. Um, we pressured everything up, water's fine, no leaks, no nothing, so we're going to be taking this RV here and we're going to be making it bigger without really making it any heavier. So let's get back out here right quick. And you see it was on my M01 trailer. Now that you've seen that and you get an idea, we will have this from this line here going back will be a back deck and we will have nice metal coming up for a porch and the step will be on this side and similar over here is the original step for the old automate and 
that's going to be moved right over here. So you end up with this, all of this space here to the end of the bumper, to the right above the bumper, and we will have it literally coming up from the bumper, and all of that will be a either a red wood or a treated wood deck going across the back. So that's the program. You take a look, see here, of what we got. Very old, pair of 3,500 axles, but I'm gonna be able to jack it up about four inches, make it ride high, make it ride nice, and very, very, very light. So under 3,000 pounds is our goal. Um, this is about 850 right now, 900 when the frame's off, when this is off, 850 to 900 pounds, everything. And by the time we're done, we're gonna be shooting for under 3,500, hopefully get to 3,000. Um, probably be 3,500 when we're done with everything, but that's the goal. And up in the nose up here, we're gonna have two battery boxes to be able to put in batteries. So there'll be four deep cycles and 500 watts solar. And the solar, is uh, sitting right over here. These here are Mighty Max. Just your cheap, general, 100 watt solar panels. So we're gonna be putting all five of these, hopefully on its roof with a 40 amp MPPT. All right, folks, there it is. Project to watch, get some ideas, find you an old RV frame, find you an old camper, Hey guys, now we're going to step two where they're in there cleaning and I am getting ready to do some welding where we're going to be putting this inch and a quarter rail all the way around the whole thing. Um, we're putting some real nice Ford Explorer rims on and this here uses the standard uh, half 20 lug bolt, not, not nut. So uh, these work just fine and they will not come out but since i'm putting them in aluminum wheels you want to be sure that after a few trips you want to torque, check their torque on a regular basis uh, after probably about i don't know 300 miles they're not going anywhere they'll be fine but they will work themselves a little bit put some thread locker on them shoot them in and uh, bring them down to 80 pounds put them in the first time Afterwards, you can crank them down to about 110 with a torque wrench after about 100 miles. And it is stripped down and being framed out to put the camper on. And the back porch and the front storage, all that good stuff. So, quick, easy view here. And let's go on to the next part. We'll get the rails put in, beefing it up.